Hello, future Earthlings. How are you today? I'm doing good. Great to see you here. Um, I just want to talk to you real quick about brominated vegetable oil. Have you ever, ever heard of that? Well, it's okay if not. I never heard of it either until I found out about it. Um, it is vegetable oil that has had the element bromine bonded to it. Um, bromine was originally patented as a flame retardant. Um, it is also used in gasoline, car batteries, certain car batteries, um, film developing chemicals, swimming pool chemicals, pesticides, and some other things. Um, it was also used in sedatives in the 19th and early 20th centuries, but the FDA eventually did not approve of it anymore and it was removed in 1975. Now the reason I'm talking to you about this is because many of you ingest this chemical weekly, if not daily, some people. Um, it is used as an emulsifier in many citrus drinks such as Mountain Dew, Fresca, Squirt, Fanta Orange, Sunkissed Pineapple, and Sundrop. Um, because the citrus flavor, most citrus flavors are not water soluble, so they need something to get it all throughout the drink instead of just floating to the top. The thing is, this ingredient was banned years ago in over a hundred countries but for some reason America still allows it USA in our drinks now the reason this is a problem is because the element bromine itself is hazardous um, if it touches your skin it'll burn it and the vapors irritate your eyes nose and throat um, but brominated vegetable oil is a neurotoxin it disrupts the endocrine hormone system and affects the thyroid system and the utilization of iodine. So, please don't drink it. Please don't drink it. Like, if you care about your health, dude, please don't drink it. There are safer alternatives. The other countries that banned them, they still had Mountain Dew. They still have orange soda, but they have a better, healthier ingredient that emulsifies it. Um, and so the reason we don't, that's where the conspiracy theory comes in. You guys will be able to find that if you want. I'm trying to stay away from being labeled as a conspiracy theorist. Just trying to stick with the facts here. Facts. Facts here. Um, there are sodas, citrusy sodas you can find at like stores that carry natural things, organic things. Um, they exist. You can get citrus sodas without that chemical. They are more pricey, but it's worth it. I mean, do you care about your health? You know what I mean? And. <laughs> If it's more expensive, you might drink it less, which would be healthier for you anyways. And let's face it, it would make soda more special. Like, it used to be. Soda used to be like a super special thing, you know? And if people from, you know, even the 50s came and saw how often we drank soda and thought nothing of it and thought it wasn't special at all, they'd probably be sad. So let's make soda special again. <laughs> and let's stop putting things in our body that Turn us into zombies. Philosophically. Figure it out. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace, my friends.